Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's look at a little more complicated angle like 135 degree. So how would you draw a 135 degree using ruler compass? First try to find out relationship of 135 degree with the existing angles. Like how is 135 degree related to 60 degree or 120 degree or 90 degree. So try to find out some relation. Now first look at it and find where is it located. Now this angle lies somewhere beyond 120 degree. It lies after 120 degree. So we can say that it lies between 120 degree and 150 degree. In fact it lies in the midpoint of these two. Now the question is we know how to draw 120 degree but we do not know how to draw 150 degree. So how can we draw 150 degree? So if you think further 150 where is it located? It is located between 120 degree and 180 degree. In fact it is located exactly between 120 and 180. So what we are understanding is in this case, in this case we will have two steps. First step would be to draw 150 degree. How? 150 degree lies exactly between 120 and 180. So with this we will draw 150 degree. In step number 2 we will draw 135 degree. How? 135 lies exactly between 120 and 150. So using these two things, using these two steps we will be able to draw an angle of 135 degree. So let's see. So first we draw a 120 degree. So for 120 degree again we do the same thing. First you take your center as this point O. Any convenient radius draw an arc. Then you draw con con keeping the same radius draw another arc with B as the center. So you would see that this point intersects with the existing arc at some point C. So when you join point O and C, you would get a 60 degree. But we are not interested in 60 degree. For 120, what we will do, we consider C as the center and the same radius again. So we will see that the new arc intersects at point D. Now when you join point O and point D, you would get a 120 degree. So this angle is going to be 120 degree. And what is 180 degree? 180 degree is straight angle. So this straight line makes 180 degree. So this is 180. So that means this point corresponds to 120 and this point corresponds to 180. So let us call this point as E. So somewhere in exactly between point D and E would lie angle 150 degree. That is our step number one. So let's do that. With D as the center and radius slightly more than half DE, we draw an arc. Similarly, with E as the center and radius slightly more than half DE, we draw another arc. And these two arcs, they intersect at some point F. Now, the moment we join point F to point O, what is this angle that we get? So, this angle that we get exactly lies between 120 degree and 180 degree. So, this angle is 150 degree. Perfect. Now we let's move on to step number 2. So step number 2 is the angle between 150 and 120. So point D corresponds to 120 and this point corresponds to 150. So this point let's call this as G. So therefore take considering D as the center and radius greater than half DG. That means the radius should be more than the midpoint of D and G. We draw an arc. Similarly, with G as the center and radius slightly more than half DG, we draw another arc. And we see that these two arcs intersect at some point H. Now, when you join this point H to point O, what is it? You get this angle, this angle, which lies exactly between 120 and 150. So, that means this angle 
is 135. So in this fashion, you will be able to draw a 135 degree. I, I agree that this is this looks complicated, but once you practice doing these kind of construction for various angles, trust me, it will become simpler for you. The only thing you need to remember is you are not supposed to, especially for these type of constructions of angles, do not change the orientation of the compass because if you change that orientation, you are actually not going to get the correct angle. And whenever you do any construction for an angle using the ruler compass, make sure that after you have, after, once you are done with the construction, use a protractor to verify if you have drawn the correct angle or not. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.